So for today's lick, I'm going to kind of develop on, on the one I did yesterday in D minor, um, which was all on one string. So basically a D minor scale ascending and then descending if, if you want. Um, so for this one, I'm going to use two strings. <laughs> So I've finished on the E. So what I've done is I've started on the E. I've got E, F sharp, G. Two, four, five. Two, four, five, and G. So E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. And when I've got to that C on the fifth note, on the fifth fret of the D, then I slide up to the... So what I've done is I've played on the G string and D string, two, four, five, two, four, five. That's E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. When I get to the C on the 5th fret of the G, I slide up to the D on the 7th, and then I descend. D, C, B, A, G, F sharp. Uh, so that's 7, 5, 4, 7, 5, 4. When I get to the F sharp on the 4th fret of the D, I then ascend to the G, uh, and then I play uh, G, A, G, A, B, C, D, E. So that's um, 5, 7, 9, 5, 7, 9. When I get to the ninth on the E on the uh, ninth fret of the G string, I ascend to the eleventh fret with the F sharp, and then I come down um, F sharp E D C B A. So that's um, eleven nine seven on the G, ten nine seven on the D. At which point I'm going to slide up from the A to the B on the seventh of the D string to the ninth on the, on the D string. And then I'm going to play B, C, D, A, E, F sharp, G, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So that's on the D string, 9, 10, 12, 9, 11, 12 on the G. When I get to the to the 12th on the G, which is G, the octave, I slide to the 14th, which is A, and then I ascend A, G, F sharp, E, D, C. That's uh, 14, 12. 11, 14, 12, 10, 14, 12, 11 on the G, 14, 12, 10 on the D, at which point I ascend, you get the idea, so I'm on the D now, on the octave, the 12th fret, so that's 12, 14, 16, 12, 14, 16, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and then I ascend up to the, um, the C note on the, oh, 12, I've lost, I've lost the uh, 12, 14, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17th, <laughs> 17th on the G. And I ascend C, B, A, G, F sharp, E, 15, 17, 17, 16, 14, 17, 16, 14. So I mean that, that that translates into an E minor natural or a G major scale depending on on, on what, what you know what the what the root note is what the bass player is doing, or what chords back and back and back and up. So you can transfer that to any string if you want. Um, so if we if we played the same pattern starting on C sharp. I can do use it on the B and E strings. Um, so you can start at any given point on the on the uh, fretboard and use the same pattern, as long as you don't run out up here. <laughs> okay, see you next time.